Tricks last year there was a very important question with regard to stream patterns which I will share with you later on. We had a few problems with uh, 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 those who answered those, those, those uh, uh, questions regarding stream patterns. So please take note when we are busy with stream patterns. Okay, now when we have a look at stream patterns uh, people, uh, the most important stream patterns, firstly uh, the dendritic one. Now I would just like to put on all of them and then we will actually see where we uh, should be. I want to start off actually with this one here. You must know the following with regard to stream patterns. Please, Matrix, when you prepare yourself, you must know this. You must study uh, your stream patterns uh, in this manner. The first thing is that you must know what everyone looks like. Okay? Secondly, you must be in a position to give a description, description of every, uh, each uh, stream pattern. And then, very important, you must know the underlying structures below the surface of the earth that have caused the structure. Now, many of the, of the matrix have problems with this last one. Okay, so stay with me and see if we can solve a few things with you with regard to stream patterns. Firstly, people, uh, the dendritic one. Uh, dendritic, it looks like a tree. In fact, it comes from the Greek word dendron, that means tree. Now, when you have a look at the dendritic one, you must know that the underlying uh, 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 structures would be um, uniform rocks. Uniform meaning the same. Okay. Then the trellis one. The trellis, we've got alternating layers of hard and soft rocks. They have a look at this one. Here we've got the trellis one. Now, what we've got is, then you'll see we, we, we have... Um, parallel streams. Look at the streams here that we've got all uh, roughly parallel uh, to each other and the streams will flow there we have the soft rocks and here we'll have the hard rocks and the soft rocks, hard lock, rocks and soft rocks and you know that the, of course the streams will be able to erode the soft rocks much quicker and for that reason they flow where you have your soft rocks and that's the reason why we have these um, parallel streams. Uh, then the radial from the highest point uh, radial, it actually looks like a bicycle wheel and um, it actually uh, flows from the highest point in different directions. The word uh, rectangular uh, means uh, 90 degrees. Okay, but remember people, when you come to the, uh, to the uh, uh, rectangular one, there are two things with regard to 90 deg degrees that you must remember. At the rectangular pattern, let's look at this one. Can you see the bends are 90 degrees? I'm coming back to this again. Look at that, 90 degrees. But what's also important is the tributaries. Look at them. They are joining also at 90 degrees. So please remember, rectangular, two things with regard to 90 degrees. I must remember the bends are, are 90 degrees as well as the tributaries that are also 90 degrees. Now, where do we find them? We find them where we've got lots of joints and faults in the underlying structures. Now, uh, when you study your stream patterns, as I've told you, uh, it's very important that you must be able to recognize them on your topographic map. And as I've said in my introduction, um, I'm going to lean very heavily on topographic maps and as well as orthophoto maps uh, or satellite photos uh, uh, like this one in this case. Now, have a look at this. Remember what did we say about the dendritic? Looks like a tree. Have a, have a look at that, okay? So this will have our uniform rocks here. This is the trellis. Remember you must, the, 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 the previous slide, you must keep bear that in mind all the time. What did we say about the trellis? Alternating hard and soft rocks. Have a look at this. Then we've got brown, parallel brown, another parallel brown, and another parallel brown. And look at the rivers. The rivers uh, are also flowing parallel uh, between these mountains that we've got here. Look at the tributaries, very short, and sometimes they join also by, by 90 degrees. Please, people, don't confuse the trellis with a rectangular pattern. We, we often find that in the exams that people confuse the trellis with a rectangular. Remember the trellis, the, the, the tributaries, the, they are very short and they flow down from a very uh, a steep slope sometimes where the result is that they join the main street, uh, main street by mainstream uh, by, uh, by uh, also by means of 90 degrees. So please don't get, get, get mixed up with the, with the trellis and the rectangular. Okay, right. Let's have a look at the rectangular. Remember, what did we say of, uh, of the, uh, uh, with regard to the re rectangular? We said the first thing we must remember, the bends 90 degrees. Have a look at this. Lovely bends. 
Right. And what did we say? What must the rocks, uh, there must be cracks in the rocks. Have a look at this. Okay. Nice rocks. And, the, and what's happening here is that the rivers, they are flowing actually uh, uh, here uh, in the joints and the cracks. Look at this. The tributary here is a tribute coming and it's also joining it by means of 90 degrees. So you remember the rectangular. The radial one, here we've got the radial one, okay, the tibus, uh, and here we've got a conical hill, and here we're seeing that all the rivers are actually flowing away from a central high point, which is here about 1,500 meters. Now, these are your stream patterns. Now, there are other stream patterns as well. Those are your four main ones. You've also got your centripetal, your D-range, and your parallel. When you study stream uh, uh, drainage patterns or stream patterns uh, matrix, I would suggest that you make yourself a table like this on one page, right? And see if you can study it like this because you've got it on one page, all the facts. Have a look at this. There are your different patterns, right? Yes, there are the diagrams of each of them. Here's a description of each of them. Here are the underlying structures. So this is very, very important that you must, must, must uh, study from a table like this. It's going to make your life much easier. It, uh, it, it will compare the stuff for you and you will be able to, to see uh, the comparisons and the differences between all uh, the different uh, uh, drainage patterns. Okay, now... Last year in the November 2015 exams, uh, the following uh, uh, question uh, appeared. They, you were confronted with, um, with a diagram, uh, uh, the drainage patterns and the, and, the, and, and the landscapes that you've got here. Now, what's very important is that uh, this was a, a simple question of matching, right? To match the drainage patterns with the landscapes. And I'm just quickly going to run through a, 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 a few of these questions and, and, and uh, 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 just as, as a revision as what I've said with the different drainage patterns. Now, the first question there was, indicate whether each drainage pattern ABC refers to the landscape 1, 2 or 3. Which one is likely to develop? Now, um, I see a few, uh, one or two schools here with us. Um, I'm not going to give the answer now. See which one would you uh, 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 um, you know, you, you, you must actually just see if A fits by B or A with one, B with two, and, and for instance, uh, like that. Okay, so you must just indicate which one. So if, if, if you can just uh, send me the answer, uh, which one matches, well, which letter matches with which number, then uh, at the end of these questions, I will have a look at that. The second question here is, name one factor that results in the different drainage patterns forming. Now, remember when we started off with the drainage patterns, we told you, that the underlying uh, rock structure, am I right? The geology of the area, tectonic forces is another one. All these things determine the drainage uh, patterns that you, that you find, the differences in them actually. State one characteristic of the drainage pattern at B. Here we've got B, right? And the most important characteristic is that it radiates outwards. I'm still waiting for the answers. Those of you who can, um, please match one, the letters with the, with the numbers. See if we can get to the, to the right answers. Then number four, describe the rock type and underlying structures associated with the drainage pattern C. Here we've got the drainage pattern C. And of course, uh, uh, if you have a look at the drainage pattern C, it will, of course, join with this one. I actually didn't want to tell you that because that's one of the answers I'm waiting for. Um, it would be igneous rocks uh, with cracks or faults in it. Uh, well-jointed uh, 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 rocks, uh, that would be the answer there. Um, now, the last one that they asked here is, um, why do the tributaries in landscape 3 join the stream at 90 degrees angle? And if you can remember, uh, we told you that these are very short uh, 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 um, tributaries that flow straight down the steep slopes. Okay, I see there's a few of you who sent in uh, 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 um, my answers here. Um, one says one with B and two with C and three with A. Um, then I've got one here, A uh, three, B with one and C with two. And A with three, B with one and C with two. Okay, so uh, let's, let's, let's have a look and see. And, and you can check on your answers uh, after I've, I've, I've given to you. I see most of you have about, yes, about the correct answers that we've got here. So let us just match and check on if you've got your, your answers uh, correctly there. Okay, so those would be the answers, okay? Um, the volcanic dome, of course, uh, this would be, uh, uh, go with B, okay? Um, the, the jointed landscape would go with the rectangular, and of course A, 
uh, would be with with uh, so 